we have successfully built our android virtual device and also we have run our first app which was an hello world app and the next thing that we need to do is we need to configure and install our jam server which will be used to host our php application so let's go and download the jam server first so let's close all of this so we are not going to use it for now let's close it over here and uh, we'll just go from here to my browser so you can use any of the browser and i'm using google chrome and i will search for xampp champ so let's go search for champ and here you can see the first link champ installer and download us just click on it so here you can see you have a download option for windows linux and os x so i'm using a windows version so let me download and you can see the there is a php version that it can support up to 7 7.37.3 so let's download a windows version and i will just cancel it because i have already downloaded it. you can continue with your download and after you can after you have successfully downloaded your jam server what we need to do is we need to install it so i have already downloaded over here and let's go and run the installer just double click on it and just select the yes over here and just a moment let me take at least few seconds to load just select ok over here and we'll select next and select everything by default that's good and just click next and select the folder you want where you want to install that by default is c drive and jam folder that's good enough and just click next and next okay let me minimize this and next and it will go for installation so it may take just a few minutes i think at least one minute to get uh, all of this installed so till then i will pause my video and i will be back when it's done it says that the firewall has blocked some feature then we just select both private network and also public network and just allow access and you can see we have successfully completed our installation and we can just click on do you want to start a control panel now yes just click finish and it will install a control panel just select the language now we have two options so just select the first one which is an us language just save it and you can see here our control panel just double click on it and we can see our control panel is here so we have apache mysql filezilla mercury tomcat but for now we are only interested in Ap apache and also mysql so let's start our apache first and let's start mysql so we have so you can see it okay let us allow access okay so we have we can see that it's running on port 80 and 443 and mysql is running on default port 3306 so that's good and if you have any error on here you can always go and see on the next stat and see which are the application that is running on or using your port 80 and 443 you can just terminate that one and start up again or else you can configure apache to run on a different port so what we'll do is uh, we have already run and let us go to admin over here and localhost yeah that's good and let us go to mysql admin php my admin and here that's running up and the next thing what we can do is i think this much for this video and on the next lecture what we'll do is we'll go and see how to configure our virtual host in our jam server and till then have a great day and i will see you in the next video